Actinia pisiformis, the tapeworm, Phylum platyhelminthes, class Cestoda. This is an endoparasitic organism that's got a body covered by an outer covering called the tegument. This keeps it from being digested by its host's digestive system. At the anterior end is a scolex, which latches on to the inside of the host's intestine so that the animal can feed and acquire nutrients through diffusion. It has body segments called proglottids. They are hermaphroditic, meaning that they have both male and female sex organs, and they are protostomes, meaning that during the embryonic stage, the first opening, the blastopore, becomes the mouth. Tinea pisiformis is the most common tapeworm found in canids or dogs, and dogs are the host, with rabbits being the most common intermediate host. Here is the life cycle of Tinea pisiformis. A dog is infected, and in its feces are eggs or gravid proglottids, and they're passed into the environment. The rabbits are infected when they eat vegetation that's contaminated with the eggs or proglottids. The eggs are ingested by the rabbits. They hatch into the oncosphere or larval stage in the liver of the rabbit. Then that larval stage transforms into a cystocircus in the peritoneal cavity. The dogs are infected by eating raw meat from the rabbit. The scolex attaches to the intestine of the dog and the adult grows in the intestine. This is a picture of the scolex of the tapeworm. This is the part of the tapeworm that embeds itself into the intestine of the host animal. The scolex has structures that help it attach to the intestinal wall. The rostellum, which look like hooks and suckers. Here is a picture of the rostellum showing the multiple rings of hooks. Definition of the rostellum is the knob-like protrusion at the anterior end of a tapeworm scolex, retractable and made up of rows of hooks. Here we can see some of the suckers that help anchor the scolex inside the intestine. Now we'll look at the segments of a tapeworm, the proglottid, which contains both sex organs and fertilized eggs. Here is a slide of a mature proglottid and we will go over each part individually. These are the ovaries for the organism in the proglottid. These will produce eggs or ovum. These are testes, which provide sperm to fertilize the ovum. This long structure here is the uterus. This is where eggs are stored. This is the yolk gland here. The yolk gland provides yolk or nutrients for the developing embryos. This long thin tube is the sperm duct, and the sperm duct is where sperm is concentrated to fertilize the ovum to manufacture embryos or fertilized eggs. This concludes our discussion on Pisiformis. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like the video, and if you liked it, why not go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.